السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو انگلش آن لائن اسٹڈیز ہیرا اسکول ٹین اسٹینڈر ناؤ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سی مور اباؤٹ دا لینگویج اسٹڈی دیٹ از ہومو گرافس اینڈ ہومو فونس ہومو مینگس سیم اوکے ناؤ ہومو گرافس کین وی ڈیفائن ایز ورڈس دیٹ ہیو دا سیم اسپیلنگ بٹ ڈفرینٹ meanings now let us see the first word l o c k lock here we can write the sentence as there was a lock of hair on the table that means the hair which are fallen down okay from the head the another one example of l o c k lock is the lock and the key were both golden in color what does it mean that lock lock which we put on our door to lock the house okay so here lock meanings are two that is lock of hairs and that lock which is there on the door so two different meanings but it is the same word spelling is the same okay even the pronunciation is also the same more or less okay let us see the another example here p l a n t plant we must plant more trees okay so what does it mean plant means to plant the trees the other one now a new chemical plant would increase the pollution in the area here we see plant means a factory kind of a structure okay so p l a n t plant that is for the growing of the trees also and also of the plant which is a factory or a building structure here we see another example now that is present p r e s e n t present there were very few people present in the hall what does it mean people who were present were very few okay now here another example i was not sure what present to give the bride that means at the time of wedding the people give present to the bride and bridegroom okay now let us turn on to homophones what does it mean the definition the definition of these word is that have different spellings and different meanings spellings are different the meanings are different but they are pronounced in the same way let us see the examples s a i l sail that is sailing in the water and s a l e sail that is the sail which we have in the shops and the malls okay now see the statements here the fisherman bought a sail for his boat during the monthly sale at the shop see here two sails are been used here one is s a i l sail which is for sailing of the boat or moving of the boat on the water another s a l e sail is that sail which we see in the shops and the malls other example is k n e w new and n e w new the old man knew that new shoes would be expensive see there the old man knew new means already known to you and new means n e w new so the sound is the same or pronouncement is the same of the two but their spellings are totally different and the meaning also differs another topic which we are going to cover is already been covered by you in 9th standard as well but let us revise that that is direct indirect the word itself says direct direct that means you are directly speaking to the person in front of you so here for example sheetal said i am tired when these words are uttered by sheetal you were in front of that person okay 
सो डबल एपोस्ट्रोपी विल बी देयर एंड फुल स्टॉप विल बी देयर ओके वेन द डायरेक्ट थिंग इज देयर और डायरेक्ट स्पीच इज देयर द वर्ड्स दैट आर एक्चुअली स्पोकन बाई अ स्पीकर एंड कोटेड विद इन द कोटेशन मार्क्स आर सेट टू बी डायरेक्ट स्पीच ओके लेट एस सी सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स द जज सेड द एक्यूज इज गिल्टी ऑफ द क्राइम ओके ना exactly the quotation which is there that is said in the form of direct okay now if we need to see some of the examples here are when we convert this direct into indirect that means that is the reported speech for example navin said the dog is clever this is a direct direct speech now if you convert it into indirect it comes as navin said that the dog was clever okay let us see another example benny said liz is writing letters benny said that liz was writing letters okay it's a indirect speech now Sachin said I have eaten a banana. Now what will come instead in indirect Sachin said that he had eaten a banana. Now in the another example boys said we had been playing. The boys said that they had been playing. Another example is Smita said I wrote a poem. Smita said that she had written a poem. Now, one last example we are going to take is Rita said the judge will come. Rita said that the judge would come. Okay? Did you understood till here? In continuation, we need to move on to another topic that is voice. what is actually voice a subject a sentence in which the subject does the action is said to be the active voice a sentence in which the subject is not the doer but the receiver of the action is said to be the passive voice we had already done this voice in 9 standard and 8 standard let us revise for understanding some of the examples i eat an orange daily that is an active voice if we convert it into passive how it will be an orange is eaten by me daily okay i am eating an orange an orange is being eaten by me okay same way i shall eat an orange an orange will be eaten by me have you eaten the custard now in the passive voice it will be has the custard been eaten by you now see clean the table let the table be cleaned okay do not touch the switch let the switch not be touched okay here some of the examples which i gave can make you understand another example is who killed the rat by whom was the rat killed another example is did you break this glass was this glass broken by you so by these examples we can understand some of the things of active and passive now we are going to move towards the another topic that is modal auxiliaries an auxiliary is a helping verb modal auxiliary is a helper verb that helps the main verb express some meanings like ability possibility obligations and so on the modal auxiliary do not change their form according to the number or person of the subject now here we are going to see some of the examples 
कैन आई लीव द रूम नाउ हियर द सेंटेंस शोज देर इज अ परमिशन कुड वी गो फॉर अ ड्राइव इन योर कार इट्स अ परमिशन अगेन ना द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस नाउ आई कैन स्पीक जर्मन फ्लुएंटली दैट इज आई हैव द एबिलिटी टू स्पीक जर्मन लैंग्वेज फ्लुएंटली ओके हियर इट इज एबिलिटी नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस वी मू ऑन इज मे आई बोरो युअर अम्रेला दैट इज अ परमिशन द वॉटर मे फ्लड द रोड इट्स अ पॉसिबिलिटी द प्लेन माइट लैंड बिफोर टाइम इट इज ऑल्सो अ पॉसिबिलिटी वी शूड टेक गुड केयर ऑफ अवर हेल्थ इट इज एन एडवाइस I shall see that they complete the work soon. It is a ability. My parents would go for a jog every morning in Bangalore. That is the past habit. We will become the greatest power in the world some day. That is a determination. We must separate the wet and dry waste. It's a compulsion. You must respect your elders. It's an obligation. We ought to look after our parents in their old age. It's an obligation on us, right? My sister used to eat a lot of sweets when she was young. It's her past habit. Okay? This way we can understand that model auxiliaries are used as a helping verb. another topic which we are going to deal with today is word register it's just very simple just see the definition first compromises word register compromises of a list of words that are connected to a particular thing we are required to write four words related to the given word okay let us see some of the examples now first one is city now when the word city comes to your ear or you hear that word all the words related like example is when the word city comes it's street buildings gardens roads bridges footpaths lanes signals etc and number of words come to your mind okay same way if we take another example that is body in body what we have hand leg ankle wrist thigh knee hand arms etc so many things are there which are related to one word now if we see computer the words related to computer are monitor printer keyboard mouse okay so we need to write down four words related to that subject or that topic word okay now let us see another example that is hospital hospital we see in the hospital what we see bed doctor operation surgery nurse medicines patients ambulance etc now another word which we are going to take as an example is musical instruments in musical instruments there are a lot of in- instruments right like tabla violin piano guitar sitar veena flute harmonium etc so inshallah you have understood this topic that is word register next time inshallah we'll continue with the next topic thank you so much jazakallah